hey, this is the Betrayer. And ever since the game came out, I've been playing Super Mario Maker. Super Mario Maker. Super Mario Maker. Super Mario Maker. Mario Maker. Mario Maker. Mario Maker. Now, I've been working on one course this whole time. Just trying to make the hardest course possible to my liking, but not like Kaizo Mario. That's that's a whole other uh, ball game right there. No, no not, not that kind of hard, but... Well, you'll see. But so I finally finished it, and I, I beat it, and I uploaded it. So here's the code. The code, be, the code will be all on the screen and in the description below. Feel free to try it out. My course is called Raiding the Betrayer's Lair. Yes. Let's just say it's like my lair and you're raiding. It's like a boss raid. Because I like RPGs, and raiding bosses is awesome. Now let me just say, this course, it is hard. Not everyone can beat it. But what what I aimed at this course, since it's going to be my hardest course, my goal, I wanted to stretch the the level as far as I can, making it as big as possible, and also have a sub sub level or sub world, both expanded to the max. But I want to make sure I fill it up. I don't really want empty spaces. I don't want spacious areas really, because that's what a lot of people do. Understandably, um, can't use the whole space actually, which comes to my biggest complaint of as Super Mario Maker in general. When it comes to making levels, you have a limit to how many enemies you can place in the whole level. Now, not counting the sub level that they have totally they have different uh, their own limits, but that is my biggest complaint. I could not like I was only able to just of all the enemies I placed while I was working on it, I already reached the limit to all to the enemies when I wasn't even halfway done of the first level. I was just blown away by how Oh, the limit. It's so low. Man, it... I'm sorry I wanted to make so much in my level. I really hate it. And other games as well would kind of... Uh, when you forge your own level, they have limits, restrictions to how many of one thing you can place. And that really bugs me. I don't really... I don't want to show uh, a playthrough of going through my whole level. I don't want to spoil it. And I don't want to already show... Oh, is left the correct way or right the correct way? Um, there is a correct path to choose, and if you choose the wrong way, some areas in my uh, level, when you when, the, when there's a split path, it doesn't matter which way you choose. Some of them, some of the choices, there it will be a dead end. But I do reward the player with a fire flower, or or some sort of power up. Whereas if you choose the right way, you just get a mushroom. So I, it kind of balances, but then again, I mean, I guess that's, maybe it's not so much of a balance, but hey, Firefly, you can take two hits. By the way, this is the Super Mario World level. Super Mario World is my favorite Mario game of all time. I've never played Super Mario Bros. Wii U, uh, so I, I'm a little inexperienced when it comes to wall jumping and uh, spinning in the air, but I mean, I'm getting used to it. It's fine. Now, in the main level, you're going through Bowser's Castle. Of course, we all know the first, the, the main level is where the goal is, so there will be an axe to touch, of course. But the sub-world is going to be an airship level. And the cool concept I, I have, I had for this level, is you appear on one side. But this time, actually, you're going to appear on the right side of the, of the whole level. Traditionally, in Mario games, you start from left to right. But in this case, you start from right to left. Which is kind of a cool concept. But the way I wanted it is you actually fly, whether it's by clown copter or by feather, you fly from airship to airship. And uh, you can either go under the ship through the garage and uh, raid the, the ship. Or you could um, land from above and still drop down. It doesn't matter which uh, choice. There is no dead end. But I think it's pretty cool. You're going through the ship and then you're flying from the front of the ship onto the next ship from the back. And you do that a couple times, and I just think that's so cool. It's you're in an airship battle. You're you're raiding each ship and and killing off all the minions and taking off, and it's like, wow, that's pretty cool for a Mario level. <laughs> Instead of one big airship, which I, I still have some plans. I do want to make one giant airship level kind of thing. Um, uh, so stay tuned for that. Now, throughout my level, I did place fire flowers in, um, in certain areas. So you, if you manage to get the fire flower, it is rewarding to try not to get hit so you can spit fire. Otherwise, you will find mushrooms more frequently. 
Uh, to be fair, of course, we all need a mushroom to get through stuff to take that extra hit. Cool. But the fire flower, I mean, like any Mario level, it's a huge advantage to spit fire having a ranged attack. So it is rewarding to have that flower intact. So with that said, I hope you guys like it, which actually I'm pretty sure I'm going to get tons of hate comments on this video for how hard it is. And I don't know, probably people saying it sucks, but um, try it. Uh, I know this this level isn't for everyone, but hey, uh, future levels I make, it's just going to get easier from here. I hope you like it. This is The Betrayer, and I'll see you next time.